Hey, are you heading out too? <gasps> oh, this is so awkward. Oh. Oh no. People were gaining exactly what they deserved in the last chapter. Mr. Cartwheel is cartwheeling around no longer. On top of that, Asher's next stunt as the Black School is about to happen. He got called to the arena and at the same time, he's getting ready to go. Daria and her mom were going out and they kind of like had eye contact and were like, hey, and now we're going to see what happens with this awkward confrontation. Please go read the amazing Author Eve story. Subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's start the drama. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Suddenly Asher fell to the ground. Are you okay, Asher? Are you all right? Shit. Oh, he, he took off his mask real quick. I'm fine. I just tripped. Lies and you know it. You tripped. He's not wearing the mask anymore. That's weird. Was I just seeing things? Oh no, it. <laughs> I had never been more confused. Just a second ago, I was certain I saw a piece of cloth covering the bottom half of Asher's face. The same piece that the masked man in the alley was wearing. Oh, it's him, but not it had disappeared. Had he taken it off? Was it even there in the first place? Maybe it was just a girl, no. No, it was there. You saw correct. Oh, hello, Asher, right? Yes, that's right. Were you, where are you headed out this late? Just a late night workout. I haven't been to the gym in a while. Good for you. I really need to start going to the gym too. Actually, we should go more often, right, Daria? Leave me out of it. We'll see you around, Asher. Yeah. This is like, um, the fact that they both just know. Hey. Yes. Whoa, he's actually talking to me first. Oh my gosh, we're gonna respond. Hey. What is it? Where are you going? I'm going to Lex's house. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> See you, I guess. Why would you start a conversation with me then not finish it? Asher, you little. Ooh, I wonder if Millie knows that the crush is kind of real. Okay, but let's go to Lex's house. Oh, wait, we're not at Lex's house. Sean, hey, we actually have to work on our project, you know. Give me a break. I'm hungry. Do you have any snacks? Someone's at the door. Who is it? Don't tell me it's Rio. It's Rio. Oop, Zena. I. What's up? Oh, hey, man. Zena, I thought you said your parents weren't going to be here. Oh, this is awkward. Well, yeah, I mean, he's not my parent. Oh, well, I thought you'd kind of be alone. Ugh. Oh no. Oh dear. I'll just come another time. Bye. That is so awkward. What was that? I don't know. Just drop it, Sean. There's going to be a little competition between Ishan and Rio over her. I don't know. Maybe me personally. Kiss Mr. Br no. No, Daria, no, girl. No, don't do it. Kill Mr. Eric, marry Miss Myers. Okay, 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 that one. Why would you kill Mr. Eric? He's such a cutie. No, 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 yeah. Lexus has the right idea. No, who needs to be dealt with is Mr. Brown. Hey, you're the one that asked me to do Kiss, Mary Kill with our teachers. I had to kill one of them. Why not Miss Myers? Hey, not too much on Miss Myers now. She's my girl. It's your turn now. I kiss and marry Principal Simmons, then kill him so that nobody knows it ever <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're talking about the teacher. See, it's, it's cute when we're having little, you know, little talks, little fantasies. Not to actually do it though. Mr. Brown needs to be dealt with. Okay, let's do it with the guys. The guys? Well, I don't really know many at this school. Really? I mean, you know the bald one. We don't need to bring that up. <laughs> I love your hair. Don't remind me of that. That I guess I know of some guys, but none of them well enough. So there's nobody's caught your eye. Oh, Asher, we're going to deflect because that's up to me to know. 
Why did I feel like I wasn't being completely honest? Did I have my eye on anyone? The answer was no, but for some reason, that didn't seem right. Daria, don't think about him. You definitely don't have an eye on him. Oh, but you do. He's annoying and literally avoided you. Oh, come on. Let's see. Not even Ishan. That guy's kind of cute. For you, not for me. Lex, I've spoken to him like once. And I'm pretty sure he likes Xena. Hmm, who else? Definitely not Elias. I know you don't like him. We're not trying to throw up. Or Asher, you don't like him right now, too, because he's being cold or something. How about Tegan? No, not him. I began to feel awkward at my sudden outburst. Tegan, as much as I hated to admit it, the things I went through with him were still heavy and hard to deal with. Wait, why? Do you guys have history or something? Yes, we do. Oh, no, I wonder if... Who's outside? Oh, hey, no, this is Asher. He's he, the back entrance. We're all shadows entered the room. <laughs> One could say, you can't be back here, kid. Oh, it says, I've been summoned by Apollo. Come in. That was real fast. I began to make my way down the long winding hall. I knew I was behind the bar by the sounds of the pumping music and cheers. With the first time I had walked down here and I didn't know the extent of the darkness I was slipping into. Now we're stuck. Well, now we, he... As I started to descend down the stairs, the muffled sounds of the club music began to fade away. Instead, I began to hear different sounds. Sounds of low, careful chatter. The buzz of the fluorescent lights. Of shot glasses clinking against each other and hearty laughter. Probably people excited to watch another match tonight. But the loudest sound, the sound on my head telling me to turn away and get the hell out of here. Boy, you are stuck. I just know Apollo's not going to let him out. It was too late for me. But behind those metal doors was the last time I was about to turn off the last of my humanity, where I would have to knock down somebody else, probably someone in the same position as I was, just for a cash prize. Name? Black Skull. The picture's a match. Go wait in preparation room number one. They're still setting things up. Okay, I'm glad we have pictures now of who to let in, unlike the last person you let in. Yo. Who's this? Why are you so on edge, bro? Who the hell are you? I'm Diamond. Obviously, that's not my real name, but you know I can't tell you my real name. Ring rules or whatever. Okay, but once again, who are you? Based off that tattoo on your chest, I'm guessing you're Black Skull. That's right. Are you the one I'm fighting? Nah. I'm fighting the Jester tonight. If I was fighting you, I wouldn't be here. They don't let opponents meet before the fights. Okay. There's been quite the talk about you. I heard about your first match. You beat Masquerade, huh? Good on you, kid. I hate that son of a bee. Okay. He was cocky as shit just to get defeated by a rookie. He was on a win streak until you. You got a lot of lights mad, too. They lost a lot of money since Masquerade lost. Again, why are they mad? That's on them. That's their problem. Why are they called lights anyway? The people that place bets on us. Because we're shadows. Shadows can't survive without the light. That's okay. Just like we can't survive without them. It's their money that keeps us going and we fight for their entertainment. Everything we do here is for them. Mmm. Shadows can't survive without the light. I heard they've been trying to find out who you are. So let me try too. Who are you? Boy, did you not just walk in here and say that was against the rules too? That's against the rules. Good answer. If you said your real name, they'd probably come in here and put a bullet on my head. You got popped if you break any of the rules. Just like that Cartwell guy. They actually killed him? You're going to learn something real quick by being in the ring, kid. There's a lot of things you're better off knowing. I know you probably have a lot of questions, but be grateful you do. Because the more you know, the more you'll want to get the F out. And that's not something easily done. But like, how can you? But how can you get out, though? Black Skull, you're up. Knock him out of the park. Do we trust this diamond guy? I don't know about that. I don't trust any of these people that could be potential competition. Hmm. Welcome back, everyone, to another night in the Ring of Shadows. Let's all make some noise. I don't know why people are cheering so loud, because if it doesn't go your way, you're going to be out here trying to hurt somebody. Yes, Tony? I'm sure the Ring of Shadows is alive with excitement tonight. We have some very special matches and fighters lined up for your enjoyment, from Diamond to the Jester. But I know we've all been excited for tonight's first match. Yes, one of our highly anticipated fighters returns for his second match 
please welcome the black skull woo woo go ash i mean the black skull woo we love you black skull they say that until they switch just like that on you if he loses. The Black Skull of Rookie who had his first fight only last week, and yet on his first night, he was able to win Masquerade's win streak. Truly an incredible feat that drove the crowd and us wild. But the question is, will the Black Skull be able to keep up that momentum? What happens if he loses, though? Or was that just beginner's luck, and will he flop like a fish out of water tonight? If he wins today's match, he'll be the first Shadow to debut with a winning streak. Shall we introduce his opponent, Sal? I'll let you do the honors, Tony. Why, thank you. Now, introducing the opponent who will be facing off the black school, do we think it's that diamond? No, because he said they can't talk. It's got to be someone else. Reaper. Boy, go back to Overwatch. Reaper. He a little too excited to on that stage. Hell yeah, you already know who the F it is. I don't. I don't. The Reaper, a renowned beast in the Ring of Shadows. He got his name from the fact that during his first match, his opponent almost died. That's right, Cell. Oh, I remember that match. It was a good one. But he didn't, though. So, what the hell? Will the Black Skull be able to defeat the notorious Reaper tonight? Black Skull, you got this. You got this. Let's pop this man. Let's end it. Or will he crumble on his second match? I believe in him. I do. You got this. I mean, you put yourself in this situation, so we got to crawl out of it. Let's go, Black Skull. Who will win? We're about to find out. Okay, it's the end of the chapter. Let's talk for a second. The moral thing you're thinking about, these little masks that they're wearing. Okay, Masquerade, the one half a point I will give him, is he had a full mask on. Like, you couldn't tell who the man was. It, you know, he was his face was covered, but the Black Skull Asher and this Reaper guy... Like, he, all he has is, like, a bandana or something, like, a mouth covering. And then the Reaper just has a little, like, I'm just not sure that's hiding the identity. I'm just not too sure about that. It's, but we can even see your hairstyle. You know, you, we might think we want to dye our hair for the match, specifically a full face covering, you know, with something that covers the hair. Just something to really hide those identities. But I mean, I guess, I guess they do them. But speaking of the masking, that's why I thought it was so funny that Dario recognized him just from his little half a face covering. Okay, I mean, I guess, I guess it could, it does. Well, I don't know. It, it kind of does. I guess if it's dark, you wouldn't really be able to tell if the bottom half of their face is covered or if like the top half they had a mask on or something. I don't know. I still just think I would be doing like a full face. You know, we got a full face mask. We're going to like bleach our hair for the week or something. You know, it's fine. We might have some hair might be a little brittle if we keep bleaching the dying hair, but at least we're going to keep them on their toes. But I'm excited to see how his match goes and how it progresses in the story of what happens because I just feel eventually he's going to want out and, and Apollo will not be about that. But once again, please go follow and read Eve's stories. She is an absolutely amazing author. Please go support her. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching as always. Bye everyone.